Tongues and tails here at the end of day five of the World Dart Championship. Running down and through to the next round, pretty comfortable in the end. Yeah, the result says very comfortable uh, for me. I was trying to be very businesslike and very methodical. I didn't feel my scoring was as good as I wanted to be up there. It took me a bit to find my feet, uh, but I was very efficient on the doubles, which I haven't been in the last uh, two TV tournaments, which is uh, a bonus because I actually have been practicing my doubles. Well, doubles are obviously going to be key to your progression further in the tournament. Yep. How important is it to you that you got that one under under your belt and that you, you hit the doubles with reasonable percentages? It, to be honest, uh, it's a matter of being able to play after Christmas. Uh, I think uh, um, all of us seeds here are here to be shot down. <laughs> and it's just a pleasure for me. This is my first year to be in the top 16 you know, at, the, at the World Championships. And it's a pleasure to be mixed among the elite. Uh, but I didn't want to get shot down. So this was a very hard game for me especially when I didn't know who was going to play like in, you know, only until the second game tonight. So I had to prepare and be very selfish and think about myself and say that, uh, well, tell yourself you are a good player, you're number 11 in the world for nothing, uh, you know, and encourage yourself and tell yourself good things about yourself. And uh, the last two TV tournaments I've been slacking on the doubles and I have worked up my doubles maybe not as much as should but I have worked on them and uh, tonight I think uh, my doubles was very good. You mentioned seeing there obviously rankings one thing but how important is it to you to feel like you, you should be up there and that you are a part of this elite group of players now? Well I've been throwing this uh, oh god knows uh, five or six years seriously probably since 2002 part time and I honestly do now believe that I do belong up there uh, because I do believe uh, it's like the league table in soccer. Come May, you know, no matter, I'm a Liverpool fan. and uh, you That was know, a mistake to start off with. Uh, you, no, uh, I'm proud of being a Liverpool fan. Uh, I don't mix me, mix me teams or whatever. Um, and last year, they were second for a reason. And uh, I do believe... They didn't solve certain amount of problems this year, and that's why they struggled. They got rid of their best striker, and they had problems defensively last year, and it's showing up this year, and uh, that's why we were further down the table. Um, for me, as in seeded 11 in the world rankings, I'm there for a reason. It's not because somebody said, go on, you be number 11. And, uh, you know, I must have shown some form, and in the last two years, you know, I've won five tournaments on the floor and uh, I'm proud of that achievement in itself but I'm proud to be mixing it with the best dark players that ever lived. Round two's caused you some problems before. What will you be doing differently over Christmas to help you prepare for the, for the next round? I think this year I'll be enjoying it. Uh, I've always loved watching darts on TV at Christmas time and I've hated playing darts <laughs> this last few years. But I think uh, in my own life, uh, with my fiancé now, and I think I'm a happier person. We're going to have Christmas with, at home with my mother. And uh, my mother's in better health at the minute. And, uh, you know, for me, everything's going positive. And I think when I come back, I'll have a day or two before I play. And I'll be very positive and assertive. And I'll have the backing of my family, which is... Uh, going to be awesome for me and you know what I will be a threat well Brendan congratulations enjoy your Christmas and I hope your team Liverpool don't do as well as my team Tottenham over the festive period oh don't tell me that <laughs> have a good Christmas mate have a Christmas we'll see you soon there you go tongues and tails keeping you at the sharp end of world darts